Hey, I want to talk about interest rates and currency prices because a lot of people are still very confused about this. And um, it's interesting because intelligent people or people who are familiar with the markets, they understand that when interest rates go up, bond prices go down. Okay, there's an inverse relationship between interest rates and bond prices, and that's because um, when interest rates go up, bond prices go to a discount to par, par being the face value, and that discount reflects the implied yield, okay? So the more interest rates rise, the more of a discount to par reflecting uh, the, the higher implied yield. And it's the same thing with currencies. By the way, what is a bond? A bond is a currency with some term or maturity, right? It could be two years, five years, 10 years, 30 years, whatever. And, and you know, by the same token, what is a currency? A currency is a bond with zero maturity. Okay, we can call it that as well. So, and you could see this in any forward curve of any currency. For example, in an environment where interest rates are rising or expected to rise, the forward curve of a currency will be inverted in backwardation. In other words, the spot price, which we can call par, will be higher than the deferred contract. Uh, and that difference will reflect the implied yield, what the interest rate is. So if you bought a deferred contract of that currency, which is down compared to the spot, over time it converges to the spot and you earn that yield and vice versa if it's an environment where interest rates are being cut and expected to go down the forward price of the currency is higher okay it's very simple to understand it's the same concept as a bond now what's interesting to me is that you know people who argue all oh, the interest rates going up so that everyone's going to buy the dollar well then why isn't that true with bonds if interest rates go up if you use that same logic then everybody should be buying bonds and it should go in a giant rally it doesn't work that way okay the market has a structure and it reflects the change in the yield very simple same thing with currencies when the rates are expected to go up the currencies go down when the rates are expected to go down and are going down, then the currency goes up. That's how it works. Same like with bonds. Bye-bye.